Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC 7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Looking at an air temperature that's coming in mild at 66 degrees. No doubt about that. Dew point is at 61, so about where we were yesterday. However, things are going to change, and the reason they're going to change is our east northeast wind coming in at about 6 is going to switch more to a southeasterly, even southwesterly direction. That A is going to pump up our dew points, making it feel a little more humid in the afternoon. Then those winds will continue to shift out of the north, drawing down drier dew points making it feel less humid as we get into tomorrow. So we have kind of a around the compass with our dew points to get through before we see a little bit, uh, a little bit drier air move in. 62 in Wachula, 61 in Arcadia, Mayaca, Bradenton, 62 in Parrish, Lakewood Ranch, and Northport, 59 in Punta Gorda and along the coastline, 64 in Venice, 65 in Inglewood, 67 Longbow Key. The water vapor imagery showing the stream of blue that is high moisture content air, and it's basically tracing out the southern branch jet stream. There's another trough of low pressure sinking south, and that's going to take that jet stream, push it southward, and take a little impulse that's riding along it in the form of a low pressure area and push push it south of us. That also will take a cold front and push it south of us. Now, it's not much of a cold front. It's more like a cool front, more like a dry front than anything else. It's going to dry us out, remove some of the moisture from the air, and that will allow our temperatures to fall a little bit, especially at night, but also during the daytime as well, by about three, four, maybe five degrees. So it's going to be nice. It'll be a nice change. Won't be cold, but it will be comfortable. The low pressure area sinks south as high pressure builds in. The low kind of fades away with a lot of the energy retreating to the west. The winds shift to the northeast and that draws down the drier air. We get in that northeast wind over a period of four or five days probably. We're getting very used to this northeast wind and we're going to get it again as we head into the weekend. More clouds around today, however, as that front makes its trek through our area. And yes, there's a possibility of a sprinkle, but not much in the way of any kind of heavy rainfall, nothing like that. No thunderstorms associated with this frontal passage, but a little bit of patchy sprinkles or drizzle, not out of the question, 20% chance of that. Cooler today, too, not so much because the cold air arrives today, but because of cloud cover. It's just going to kind of keep the sun uh, a little bit uh, less effective this afternoon. Rain showers to the north of us. I think that's where the rain shower activity will be most prevalent in the state of Florida through the Big Bend region back into the Panhandle. That low basically stays out in the Gulf, so it never really crosses over the state, never really impacts our weather tremendously. We have across the region right now dry skies. That'll be the case through your morning commute. Watch the RPM computer model. It visually depicts what I've just been talking about. The low pressure area sinks south. The cold front pushes through. The low disintegrates and the moisture is pushed back toward the other side of the Gulf as high pressure builds in, bringing us fair skies and some really nice weather over the next several days. Watch the, uh, the boating forecast and boaters take note tonight. The winds will be up a little bit, be kind of breezy out there, so don't let that catch you by surprise. We'll look for today, a daytime high, probably around the 80 degree mark, 20% chance of a shower or two. We'll have some breezy conditions tomorrow, and then the temperatures right straight through Veterans Day into the weekend look great. Upper 70s, cool, crisp nights. Back to you.